Shalom, 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 Kom Yesha Allah, Koholo Yimla, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweshai, Bahashim Rekha HaKudash, double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well, and that by the Spirit towards this beautiful truth, you just want to say the water toward the Akim and Akwaf, that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweshai to the best of their ability. This is Jah Hanan Awaf, just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And um, I don't know if you guys heard about this. I was I peeped it yesterday on Euro News, and um, you know they got some gruesome footage, man, of people being blown the hell up by just simple pagers, man. I, 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 shit, this younger generation may not even know what a, a damn pager is, but I can remember, man, when pagers came out, man, we had pagers, <laughs> you know, before the cell phone jumped off and all that stuff, you know. But hey. This is a perfect example of never trusting thine enemy. When the scripture says to never trust thine enemy, hey, that that goes for any any person on this planet. If you got an enemy, he can he can he can he's capable of doing anything to you, and you're you're not to trust him. But this is um the business business insider, military, Hezbollah's daily pagers were sourced from a Taiwanese company. And contain explosive material planted by Israel. <laughs> Reports, God. Hey, but hey, but you know, anybody should know. As far as like at least these types of um situations where you got countries that's got um telecommunications that you know they're 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 gathering intel, they're gathering um data, they're gathering um information on their enemies, and they know who like them and who don't like them, and all this other stuff, man. You should n have known to not deal with a, a company from taiwan you should have been dealing with one of your your real allies because taiwan is no more than a, 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 a america and america is no more than israel america is being ran by israel you know what i'm saying so and, and they got their their arms stretched all over the fucking world so they really are the top ones of the world leaders man you know what i'm saying really in reality you know as far as the the arm of the elite so let me get a quick scripture real quick. These scriptures is real, bro. And I was watching Elder Malcolm's video yesterday too. He was sitting out in the park and he was doing a lesson on this. And he was going off into um, Daniel 12, you know, because it's going to come a point. This is the reach that this man has. This is how we know that carnally you can't beat this man. Spiritually, we're going to have to get down on this man, man. Spirit, I mean, um, carnally, you can't do nothing with him because he's he, he he's in control of everything. Let's go, uh, Ecclesiasticus 12 and 10, also known as the book of Sirach in the 1611 King James Bible. It says, Never trust thine enemy, for like his iron rusted, so is his wickedness. You're not supposed to trust your enemy. And if you know that this this country deals with this country and that country deals with that country, you got to know that they're all together. They're playing on a team together. You don't think that they know what you, you know what I'm saying? If you going, why would you go through a Taiwanese company and you know full well that uh, uh, that's nothing but an American arm? And you know that uh, uh, America is nothing but um, uh, Israeli arm. Israelis are running this damn country. And they're running every other country that's allied to um, America. You know? And slippery in, in a lot of their um, their enemies. Um, they got, you know, little, little... They got people, spies, and shit like that in, in, in their, um, you know, that's what they do. But it says, though he humble himself and go crouching, he probably came, they probably came at him like, hey, look, man, stop using those cell phones. You know, we got this new tech. You can just go back to just, it's older tech, but it's new tech. You know, it, it, it would circumvent them knowing what you're saying and this, 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 and this. And motherfuckers and set y'all asses up to get blown up. And they didn't give a fuck about um, those civilians neither because it was civilians. That was, um, you know, they got fucked up. They didn't care. They just let off, you know, the signal or whatever. And, and wherever the damn pager was, they didn't give a shit. So they let you know how inhumane these goddamn Isra Israelis are. It says, though they humble themselves and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped the looking glass. And thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. And this is really for us, you know what I'm saying? You, um, you know, you Israelites, you so-called blacks, 
Hispanics and Native Americans. You're not to trust your enemy. You're not to trust the so-called white man ever. Do we have to deal with him? Yeah, we got to deal with him. But hey, you keep a close eye on that motherfucker, man. Yeah, we got to go to him for once of all things. But we can clearly see his track record of him trying to fuck us up for centuries. Is is you know we got to just you know first off, our main weapon is the Lord, Yahweh. Why Yahweh Shai? True name of the Father Yahweh, which means He exists or the existing One, and the true name of His Son is Yahweh Shai. And he chose you Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And the book of Psalms, chapter 83, it tells you all these nations that are in your neighborhoods, they're your enemies. Especially the, num the first name that's mentioned on the list of the enemies of the Lord and, and, and the enemies of the children of Israel is the Edomites, the so-called white man. And Amalek. Amalek is the top um, 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 Edomite tribe. And those are the ones that's over there in Israel, in Israel right now, fronting like they're the people. Like they're the chosen, but they doing all this fucking wickedness in the world. When they went back to that land prophetically, there's not supposed to be no more wars. They 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 blowing people up. They've been doing that shit for 75 or so years. And even before that, before they even stole the land that they have. Anyway, let's go back. Let's go into the article now. Hezbollah's exploding pages was sourced from a Taiwanese company. Officials told NYT and Rudders, both outlets reported that Israel also planted the pages with small amounts of explosives. That's crazy, bro. Gold Apollo, the Taiwanese company name, denied on Wednesday that it manufactured the pages. But guess what? It's not going to make no difference whether or not you manufactured them because your name is attached to it. And, and you think Israel is going to care when your citizens are traveling and their asses get fucked up because these people are going to be doing stuff. And, 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 and don't let none of them be caught up in um, those areas. You know, they just out on family holiday and, 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 and in the area and got to pass through one of those borders where, where if they look like a goddamn Chinese or Taiwanese or whoever the hell, they're going to detain the asses, man. So you putting your citizens' um, uh, lives at risk. So now you got to put out a bulletin and letting your people know don't even travel to nowhere near around those areas. No one that's related to or got any kind of ties to um, Iran or any of those countries. You you better stay at home. See? It says thousands of um, Hezbollah-owned Hezbollah pagers that detonated in unison. See, they detonated in unison, bro. One phone call on Tuesday were made in Taiwan and had been tampered with by Israel. Motherfuckers, boy, is some cold-blooded niggas, man. The wireless beeper explosions, now widely considered an unusual and audacious attack on the Iran-backed militant group, raised serious questions about Hezbollah's security. Lebanese health officials say the detonations injured at least 2,700 people and killed nine more. The New York Times reported that Hezbollah had purchased the pages from Go Apollo, a manufacturer in Taiwan. I don't know. That's crazy. Why would you do that? Yeah, your security, your, who knows? Maybe a, a, a Israel probably got a, a inside contact on whoever the fuck was running that. Y'all might need to check every, all your men's out. Anybody that has something to do with the ordering of that shit, y'all gonna have to um, really, really check into them. The Times cited unnamed officials, at least some of, of whom were American, and wrote that Hezbollah had primarily obtained the AP-924 model of the gold Apollo's pagers Though it bought another three models. The outlet further reported that two officials said Israeli forces had planted small amounts of explosive materials, as little as one or two ounces, next to the pager's battery with remote switches. Crazy, bro. Let you know how these people get down. But Go Apollo's founder, Hu Ching Quang, which these are number of overall Ammonites, or uh, I mean, um, 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 Moab Moabites. No more than so-called Chinese people just, um, you know, just got separated from their, you know, because America is, 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 you know, does a lot of discord among brethren. You know, they, they, they set people against their own people because sometimes Taiwanese people are no different than Chinese people. And just like North Korea against South Korea. That's what um, these so-called um, white people do. They come in, they separate you. They divide and conquer your, conquer your ass. They put, put you against each other. And then they... You know, they run shit on some puppet level, you know? 
And the Lord hates those that cause discord among brethren. Matter of fact, let's get that real quick. Because this is what he's been doing throughout the earth. The Lord, the Lord actually hates this shit. He puts the mother against the father. He puts the parents against the children. He puts the children against the parents. He put the, you know, um, um, whites against black. He put, you know, uh, he, he especially amongst family. When it comes to family, he causes discord among brethren, man. And the Lord don't like that. And he's going to, and a matter of fact, he's reaping what he's sown because now his people are all separated and, and divided. And what does the scripture say about a, a nation divided? It cannot stand. It is brought to desolation. And this is what's happening to America. That's the reason why these motherfuckers want to go to civil war right now. Proverbs 6. Let's start at verse 12. A naughty person, a wicked man, walking with a froward mouth. And this is Esau. Everything he fucking say is perverse. That's why the scripture says to never trust thine enemy. Scriptures also talks about um, he's estranged from the womb. He come forth speaking lies, roughly paraphrasing. He winketh with his eyes. He speaketh with his feet. He teacheth with his fingers. Frowardness is in his mouth. It's like your frowardness is in his heart. He deviseth mischief continually. He soweth discord. It says continually he, 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 he's, he's um, causing mischief. He's stirring up the pot everywhere he go. No one can get along no matter where this man goes. But he comes in in the name of democracy. And I was watching the movie last night. Um, I kind of watched both of them. Um, I, uh, uh, the Born Identity and Born Ultimatum. But when you look at, you know what I'm saying? Um, well, I watched Born Ultimatum last night. But when you look at it, you can you can see the reach that these governments have. They got these little secret, um, 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 you know, um, fucking organizations in the backdrop just fucking people up, man. They'll drop your ass like, like it's nothing, man. They'll put a hit out on your ass like it's nothing. And keep it moving And make it seem as if you know what I'm saying It was an accident or whatever the case may be You know but he causes that discord Among brethren man Therefore shall this calamity come up, Come suddenly so so we can We can you can guarantee his calamity And you can guarantee it suddenly And the way this damn dollar is dropping uh, uh, This place can go into complete Chaos man in, in no time It says suddenly shall he Be broken without remedy so he's not coming back from what the Lord is about to do to him, man. These six things do it the Lord hate. Yea, seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look. You ain't gonna get no more proud or look than these, these, these fucking Edomites, man. A lying tongue. You ain't gonna get no more lies out of nobody like how you gonna get them out of them. And, and hands that shed innocent blood. They didn't care nothing about them pages going off and, and, and killing children and, and wounding um, innocent people that were standing around. They didn't care. In heart that deviseth wicked imaginations, feet that that be swift and running to mischief, that's them. They all over the world. All over the world doing shit. All in the name of their democracy. The world can't run without them. The world needs us. They they, they need us to keep them safe. But you 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 everything you do is fucked up. A false witness that speaketh lies, that's him all day long. He ain't gonna tell you no truth. And he that soweth discord among brethren. And that's the reason why you will have somebody like China and Taiwan against each other. They're not going to, they, they've caused so much discord between them that they, they, they can't even come together and say, you know what? Hey, we're the same people. Them people are our enemies. They don't like neither one of us. They're using you. But they get their foothold in your country and then it, it, it's a wrap from there. And if you don't allow them to get off in there the way that they want to, hey, they taking out anybody that's in the way to get there. That's just the way that this man is designed. That's the way he gets down. The Lord created him that way. And let's get another one too. Job 9 and 24. Because the scripture says that um, in the last days, the man of sin, the son of perdition will be revealed. This is who this man is. It's the so-called white man. It's that, it's, it's that race, Esau. These goddamn Edomites. Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where who is he? Who's running the earth? Come on, bro. You able to do shit like that? You know who's running the earth. These people all out in space, man. Setting up satellites and shit. Space force and shit. They all in the oceans. Submarines. Nuclear weapons. Testing. You know, testing nuclear weapons every goddamn where. Telling everybody where they can go, when they can go, when they can't go. And, and, and sanctioning every damn body. You know who it is. Nobody got that power on this planet, man. Other than this 
this this this this man man you can't get around it you can't not get around it and let's get that second thessalonians two and three since i, I quoted it second thessalonians two and three let no man deceive you by any means for that day shall not come what day the coming of the lord except they're coming falling away first what coming what falling away first the falling away of the Israelites, the real true Israelites, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We were the ones that fell away from our culture, our language, our our, our way of eating, our dietary laws, and, and all of our laws, man. Our holy days. We fell away from those things. So now that part of the prophecy has come to pass, but this part of the prophecy is coming to pass right now. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. The man of sin, the son of perdition. And the NLT over here says, don't be fooled by what they say. For that day will not come until there is a great rebellion against God. And the man of lawlessness is revealed. The one who brings destruction. No one brings more destruction than this man. I don't give a fuck what you're talking about. This man's medicine to heal you will kill your ass. He gives you a damn disease and then he comes at you with with, with, with a with, with so-called cure and the goddamn cure got 50 fucking side effects to it. To go ahead and knock your ass on off. But anyway, let's go back into some of this. Yeah, this gonna put a real target on you, um, so-called Chinese, Japanese. They ain't, gonna, they ain't gonna give a fuck. Anybody with slanted eyes. That's gonna put a target on y'all back. Per Rudders, he said the devices were instead manufactured by a European firm that had the right to use Go Apollo's brand. The pro and, and, and that's a, that's 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 crafty counsel. Cause why didn't they use their own brand? See, they they threw you damn Taiwanese under the bus. <laughs> see, they threw see they, so it wouldn't be no trace on them. So they can easily say, nope, we had nothing to do with that. That's not our company. It wasn't made in our country. You know what I'm saying? So so this is how this man gets down. You have to you have to really look real. Esau is real simple, but he's complex as well. You got to look real deep into this man's on um, ways of how it's war. It's war and it's and, and, and they're pretty much on a technical um, guerrilla warfare type of style. It's war. But with them, anything goes. They don't give a fuck about no international laws. When was the last time they kept an international law? Come on, bro. It says the product was not ours. It was only that it had our brand on it. He said, who called the incident very embarrassing? Yeah, it should be embarrassing. But said his company had also been made a victim. Yeah, I just said that. And I ain't even read that far. So lock it, y'all. Yeah, it makes you a victim. You don't know. That these people gonna put they don't put the target on y'all goddamn back no matter where y'all are in the world, and that's them as citizens. They put a real stain on you as a people, and that's how this man gets down. He don't give a fuck. He uses you and he's he discards your ass when he's done with you, man. Rudders had earlier reported similar findings to the Times, citing an unknown an unnamed senior Lebanese source who said that Hezbollah had ordered 5,000 beepers, including the AP-924 from Gold Apollo. The same source told the outlet that Mossad, Israel's intelligence service, had planted a board inside the pagers that contained explosive material and could remotely receive a detonation code. Crazy. Yeah, man, these people ain't, man, look. You are dealing with the damn devil, boy. They, 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 warfare is not what it used to be, man. You know, you used to have um, honorable men that would just, you know, throw in their gear and come out to the hill. And, you know, that's going off into, let's get um, Isaiah 9 and 5. Because there used to be a time where war, you know, men were honorable when it came to war. These motherfuckers are some straight rats, man. And, and they should have known, though. Instead, I think it's Isaiah 9 and 5. You 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 should have somebody should have got somebody should have said uh uh no th there's a possibility that they could be dealing with these Israelis easily Isaiah nine and five it says for every battle of the warrior is with confused noise that's back in the days when they had the swords cling 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 all that screaming damn horses neighing and you know all you know just a bunch of damn noise man cannons and shit going off. It says, and garments rolled in blood, but this shall be with burning 
and fuel of fire. So this next when when, when this place is it, it, this next war, it's gonna be all nuclear. It's gonna be fire, man. It ain't gonna be nobody on the boots on the ground, none of that shit. You know, people out here just you know somebody they over here in this hill and you know especially not like no no bullshit ass wars from back in the 1800s where motherfuckers would just be walking out in the field and just one shot shooting at each other just walking towards each other there ain't no hiding no nothing it's gonna be none of that it's gonna be all nuclear buttons being pushed um um, um remote detonations like how these damn pagers went off now i mean if you ask me <laughs> i mean pretty goddamn clever but this man is crafty this is what the serpent does hey as a matter of fact the scripture says that he was gifted with the sword this man can turn anything into a weapon. That, that's why you have to be, um, the scripture says to beware of him. You have to beware of this man. It says, take good heed, beware of him. You being warned twice in that one scripture. Take good heed and beware of him. Watch that motherfucker, man. And he goes on and said, um, sit him not by you. It says, matter of fact, uh, let's go back into it. Got to watch yourself with this man. Let me start back in verse 10. Ecclesiastes 12 and 10. Never trust thine enemy, for like his eye and rusted, so is his wickedness. And this is for us. This is for us in these last days, man. We got to make moves and move, you know, accordingly. And, and, or, and actually, it, it all starts with prayer. And in the name of the real names of the Father and Son, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, because he's all we have. We're, we're defenseless here with this man. This man has enslaved us for 500 years, bro. And we're defenseless against him. He's in control of our food, our water. He can do whatever he wants, whenever he wants to, really. If it's, um, you know, if it's the will of the Lord, really. It's got to be the will of the Lord, of course. But this man, it's nothing for this man to run some shit through your goddamn tap. Well, this motherfucker can kill you in the shower with your damn water coming out of your sprinkler, man. This man can, can detonate your, your, your gas in your house, man, and, and take your damn block out. He has that because he's in control. That's why we just read that Job 9 and 24. Verse 11. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped the looking glass. And thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. Which means he's going to eventually show those true colors. Why? Because he's going to come at you humble first. He's going to be coming at you like he's trying to help. Oh, let me help you. Oh, I can do this for you. Oh, there's no use in you taking on all that by yourself. I can do that. I can help you with that. Then next thing you know, this motherfucker got a knife in your back. Verse 12, set him not by thee, lest when he hath overthrown thee, he stand up in thy, in thy place. Neither let him sit at thy right hand, lest he seek to take thy seat. And thou at the last remember my words and be pricked therewith, which means I, I should have listened. God damn it. Fuck. You know that you know them them times when you you've had those situations you just you just gotta say fuck 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 over and over again fuck what the fuck was I thinking fuck that's how <laughs> that's how it's gonna be once he he jugged you in the night in the back with that goddamn knife he done sat you down y'all y'all done ate dinner you know what I'm saying that's why the scripture talks about them dainties you done ate dinner he done you know and drunk well motherfucker done offered you a one oh, come over your sister you know this is such and such such and such. Motherfucker give you two or three women for the night. Especially when it comes to those dignitaries. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Next thing you know, your ass is, is laid out poisoned, man. Verse 13. Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent or any such as come nigh wild beast? That's like going to the zoo and, and, and trying to pet a goddamn lion. Or just, no, I can't, you know, I would say... Um, not even a zoo level. A zoo level lion, he might maybe eat an eight. He might not fuck with you right off. Um, that's like going and, and trying to grab a damn lion by the ears in the jungle. You know that he's a lion. You need to stay away from him. And that's the same with these people, man. These are some very vicious fucking people. They've been that way for since the fucking um, their inception. And the Lord created them that way. They are the wicked. Let me see, they got a, uh, it says it's very hard to detect, detect it through any means, even with any device or scanner. That's the reason why you shouldn't have just accepted them. You could have said, oh, fuck that, there ain't no telling what, look, they coming from where? No, nope. we're going to have to look further. Or just, hey, y'all, y'all better get some, should have got some damn pigeons. 
you better off going to back in the old days and getting some damn pigeons and 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 um um, um on some fucking uh what's the name of the movie with Ken, uh, Kenny Reeves uh uh Lawrence Fishburne played the part where he he had the home in pigeon, pigeons John Wick lock here <laughs> you better uh get you some damn homing pictures and and, and, and and attach a damn note to their leg. You wanna <laughs> you wanna get a message across. It says go Apollo and the Israeli Defense Ministry did not immediately respond to requests for comment from Business Insider. Of course they not. And when it comes down to all the innocent people that got hurt in the blast, they hey, they just gonna be like, hey, you know, we, we gotta do what we gotta do, you know. And, and, and just think about if something like that happens in America. Everybody motherfucking phones get to blowing up and shit. Imagine that. Imagine you at Walmart and your damn phone blow up and you're around 20 other people, you know. And they was talking about how the shit was, it blew holes in, 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 in some of those people's stomachs. And I seen some footage though. I'm like, God damn. This man, hey, you, hey for real, for real. I mean, hey. Boy, this motherfucker can blow up your Alexas, man. <laughs> your Alexa, you asking Alexa for some shit. This motherfucker set off a code and detonate that bitch on your ass right on your damn table. I'm telling you, man, boy, you dealing with a hey, you dealing with a cold person, man. This motherfucker is cold. Says Hezbollah and Lebanon have both blamed Israel for the exploding pagers, though Tel Aviv has not claimed responsibility. Pagers became a significant part of Hezbollah's communication network earlier this year when its leader decided to use the device out of concerns that it, its cell phones networks had been compromised. A July report from Rudders citing, and you don't think that they, if they, if they compromise your phones. You don't think that they 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 gonna know pretty much about where you know what else you're gonna do? That's even through a a, a walkie talkie type radio. You ordering them in mass? You not making stuff like that yourself in your own country? Nah, bro. And, and it's right here. It, it actually puts um put them out there. It, you know now all these other countries they know your secrets and they know that they know that particular trick. You're not gonna be able to use that trick no more. And I'm willing to bet you all these other countries that have ever bought anything electronically from any of these people, they're good. They, they, they're going to be confiscating them bitches and they're going to be um, 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 more than likely destroying them. You probably this company will probably never get no more business, man. It's going to be hard for them to get. And I ain't know, you know, you know, that they was really making pagers like that anymore because the people don't, you know, I guess they, they're popular in other countries. But no, you, you I you seen nobody around here with no damn pager man i even thought about going back to a pager at one time like man just page me god damn it shoot me a number i'll give you a call back when i choose to no anyway the july report from rudders citing multiple sources familiar with hezbollah said that the group had made the switch due to the loss of several commanders amid hostilities with israel the exploding pagers have had have led to heightened fears that Israel and Hezbollah may escalate. Or they're going to escalate. Why the fuck would they not escalate? You done, you done played so dirty to the point where motherfucker might as well just do anything to y'all asses. You you put a target on your own people back. People just going to turn up. They're going to be like, oh, you, oh, oh, okay, you. And that's the reason why um, a lot of these these Jews, they be changing their names. They're like, uh-uh, fuck that. My name is not um Stephen Goldberg. My name is, uh, 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 give a nigga a name from the hood. You know what I'm saying? My name is Taquion uh, Johnson. <laughs> they don't want nothing to do with no um, um, no names. Nowhere near close to none of that shit, man. That they, they, them, them names they got. They be changing them names up, man. You'd be surprised at a lot of people that just be around you right here in America. You just thinking that they, they so-called white people, man. Them motherfuckers is from over there. But they are Edomites too, though. But that's how slippery they are. They come to you, you know what I'm saying? They change their names up. These are some very slippery people, man. It says the exploding pages have led to heightened fears that Israel and Hezbollah may escalate their conflict into a wide-scale or direct war. Both have been conducting cross-border strikes, 
against each other for months in the wake of Hamas' October 7 attack and Israel's subsequent deadly campaign in Gaza. The fighting has displaced tens of thousands of residents on either side. And I was just reading yesterday, too, that um, that war is fucking um, Israel's economy up over there. Because, you know, people would go over there, you know, they would, people would travel from all over the world, especially Christians, to just go over there, see the Holy Land, walk through some of those lands, you know what I'm saying? They hitting certain sites. Man, they used to make a lot of money off tourism. Nobody fucking going there no more. So if tourism is down, then you got all your men at war. You, you done lost all kinds of businesses. I think they said, um, I don't fucking know, like 40 to 50,000 of, of their businesses or shops. You know, like, man, you know, people be, when well, you got a rustling economy and people moving about, you know, people do shopping. Well, when you war torn and, and people scared that a goddamn bomb going to hit their ass, no, they're not going there. The Air Force is, you know, scarce. But I guess, you know what I'm saying? Hey, really, in reality, uh, the motherfuckers ain't got to work because they sending you Americans taxpayer money over there. They taking care of you. You taking care of them. Before the pages exploded on Tuesday, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, Netanyahu announced the, the administration war goal of returning Israeli evacuees to their homes near Lebanon. Nope, nah, I bet you won't do that now. The security cabinet has updated objective of the war to include the following returning the residents to of the north securely to their homes Hey, who gonna want to go they're not gonna even want to go israel will continue to act to implement this objective he had made no comment or hint implying involving involvement or planning in any specific attack man they know who done this shit they know who done this man anyway and it's just crazy because let me see let's go to um isaiah 60 I want to go to like verse 8 to get to the point. Because if they fit the prophecies of, of returning to the land, there shouldn't be no more wars, bro. I just um, Let me just get straight to the point. Verse 18. Violence shall no more be her in thy land, wasting nor destruction within thy borders, but thou shalt call thy, thy wall salvation and thy gates praise. And, and, and another thing too, this going off into the, the new the new covenant, man. We're not in the new covenant right now. We're gonna be totally at peace, man. There, there's not gonna be no one out here to fuck with us when the new covenant really comes in. Right now, we're just 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 pretty much pray. We're subject to this man's rules, his regulations. You know, he he's in control of what we can eat, what we can't eat. He, he, I mean, he's in control of our air, man. This man can do, I'm telling you, this motherfucker is capable of anything. It's nothing for this man to, 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 uh, uh, to fly multiple drones. This man can, can fly a drone over every ghetto in America and, and, and take out all these goddamn cities, man. With you Negroes in them. And directly hit your projects or whatever uh, bullshit ass apartment, your section 8 apartment your ass living in. And you thinking that you free in America. There's nothing for them to do that. Why? Because the power and the might is in their hands. They have the equipment. They have the tools to do it. Now, again, like I said, they can't do no more than what the Lord wants them to do because the Lord is in control of all movement on the planet. So the Lord is actually the one that blew these niggas up with them pagers, man. <laughs> but scriptures is the scriptures, man. It says clearly never trust thine enemy. You got to reach, you got to, okay, if you got an enemy, you got to be like, all right, well, what is this motherfucker really capable of? He knows such and such. He knows such and such. He fucks with such and such. He deals with such and such. All right, I need weapons. I need this. Why well, I need that. Well, who am I going to get it from? Okay, well, I know my enemy deal with them too. You know? I'm going to fuck around and gave you a crate of guns that's going to jam on your ass as soon as you try and pull the trigger. Or whatever, you know what I'm saying? You 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 know. I mean, God damn, you somebody should have you know. But I, nah, man, I still don't get that because I'm because uh, Taiwanese, Taiwan is just too inter intertwined. That, that's a that's an American city. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can't get around that, man. That place is just that that place is more American than America. Shit. That's just a, 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 a that's a that's that's like going to fucking um um going from Boston to Chicago. 
<laughs> like for real so you had to have known that okay they can reach off into there because you know hey, of course man you know israel running america man everybody know israel is running the world that's the reason why they they were so cold on kanye about saying that they they own everything and run everything they shut his ass down and showed you that they run everything and said shut the fuck up about it basically anyway man i'm gonna end out there hey the, the lesson of the day is to never try i done a lesson on that um the other day because the spirit was just hit me going real hard like you know hey talk about that never trust thine enemy never trust thine enemy and you know that's on all of us man you know hey we, you know we go to the plantation we get what we have to get we do what we have to do and we get the fuck away from these people because they have the power to kill they have the power to kill you can't get around that man they can do it they, and, and get a slap on the wrist if they get even get that if they even get caught if they actually get caught, they 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 got the they got the, the the power to run down on the judge. They got the power to run down on the lawyer. They put a hit out on the motherfucking lawyer and his family. Send his ass some pictures through his phone. I'm watching your wife while she's getting her damn nails done. Got to send you a damn picture of your baby getting off the bus at the bus stop. <laughs> the school bus. Hey, that scared the shit out of your ass, man. Hey, no movies is real. But this is who we're dealing with, man. So just know that, man. Um, You know, uh, walk, walk circumspectly. Let me get that one real quick, too. And I know, you know, this is over there. But, hey, this is this, 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 this as well as it goes for us as well. Even more so. Ephesians 5 and 15. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. You got to walk circumspectly. We, hey, we, the scripture says to... um. Be not ignorant of in, in any matter, whether great or small. Now, we're just some 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 defenseless guys that's just reading the Bible, but they don't see it that way. They see us as a, as a complete threat. But we're not out here um, 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 physically doing anything to anyone. We don't have the might. We're just we're just prophesying against this kingdom and they don't like that. Because they understand what's about to happen to them, really, and they're going to come down with great um, wrath, man. There's a lot of stuff that's going on out here. A lot of stuff going on out here. Some guy was, you know, two younger guys, too. They don't know no better, I guess. You know, walked up on my porch the other day. I mean, yesterday, they didn't see me. I was sitting in the driveway in the car. So I said, hey, you know what y'all need? You know? And they talking about community shit and uh, get somebody out here. If you can, man, vote for Kamala and get your people to vote. But I'm like, man, I don't fucking vote. I'm voting for that bitch. I told him straight up, man, like, this place is doomed. He's like, man, don't say that, man. It ain't that bad. I said, bro, if America lasts two more years, I'd be surprised. Oh, man, don't say that. These younger dudes, man, they really had their belief that, you know, they just doing community work, you know, going from door to door, you know. I mean, all right. If there's anything that we can put down, you know, to get back to our constituents, you know what I'm saying, about you, you need speed bumps in the streets. You know, you need, um, um, you know, better schooling um, on more pay or for jobs or you need this or you need that as a community. So, you know, it's kind of like a, a think tank, I guess. And they go back to I forgot what it is, um, what company it is. And they go back and they try and implement and make um, certain um, changes and differences in the neighborhoods and shit. But I'm like, man, y'all can get y'all can forget about that shit, bro. But he was adamant about it, though, man. He, he was on it, but he was like, man, please don't say that, bro. Everything gonna be all right. We just gotta get the right people in. I'm like, man, what the hell? I said, bro, we've been here 500 years. What the fuck you think? I said, you think something good about to come out of our gener this generation that's about to come? These motherfuckers, these new kids having kids? Are you crazy? The spinning block niggas? The bitches spinning the block. Come on, you crazy? Ain't nothing, nothing good is coming out of this, man. A bunch of wild ass kids, a bunch of damn animals, man brute beast there's nothing coming out of this and that's how far uh esau has destroyed us man and that's the reason why you know we got very good reason to hate they fucking asses you got these dudes running around here thou shalt not abhor a needlemite don't even know what the word abhor mean abhor doesn't mean hate the lord hates esau shit the scriptures clearly that's that's clear in the scriptures we're not supposed to hate man why the fuck would you not hate this motherfucker look at what he's done to us he done done you so dirty to the point where he got you thinking you should love him. 
That's how fucked up he done fucked you up. It's like you, man, for the language. <laughs> oh, boy, it's just some of this stuff, man, just pissed you off. Anyway, I'm at the plantation. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to get something in real quick. So, hey, I pray that this lesson was edifying with that. Kwame Yashallah and a Baba Boy.